Hi there, Nicole Lee here again with Health, Beauty, and More for some very important information relating to uh, preservatives. Uh, citric acid is one of the preservatives that is very commonly used in a lot of products. You have to really read the labels to find out more about these things and what's what's what they contain and what's good for you and what's not. Um, I looked up some of this stuff on citric acid and ascorbic acid. It's actually genetically modified mold secretions and uh, there's a huge scientific process that they go to they go through to create the citric acid itself and during that process, there's some awful things going on that are added to the mediums to produce citric acid. So the ingredients that are carcinogenic in a lot of products may be hidden GMO um, ingredients. And what they can do is, to some individuals, set off allergy reactions. They can cause stomach pain, diarrhea, vomiting, um, cramping, dark circles under the eyes, and some blotchiness of the skin as well, and some mouth reactions too. But they can also help create benzene, car the carcinogen, benzene it can be part of the process of your body uh, creating the benzene like compound which you don't want in your body it's hard to find foods that don't have preservatives these days and the USDA that's the Department of Agriculture and the Food and Drug or FDA administration they even allow citric acid to be in organic foods. So read your labels. It's made through fermentation with GMO corn. Even mercury products are used to produce food ingredients such as citric acid, sodium benzoate, and high fructose corn syrup. And during the process that I was talking about of creating citric acid, there is the ingredient cyanide. Yes, you heard it. Cyanide is part of the process used in the medium to produce citric acid. Why do they use cyanide? Well, it's to help remove some of the impurities and do, assist with the sterilization of, of the product, the, the final ingredient in the corn syrup. So be careful about what you're eating and just because it says it's organic does not mean that it's not going to contain some of these contaminants that are carcinogenic. Uh, I just want to give you a heads up on the latest thing I've studied and um, if, you, if you're thirsty and you want to pick up uh, something cold to drink and you stay away from sodas because you've heard that they're not good for you and you go to the tea section read the label because more often than not citric acid one of the items that's an ingredient they use in the tea and i i have taken somebody to the um, hospital that was drinking quite a bit of the uh, one brand of tea it comes in a can um, and guess what the ingredient was that i found in there and she had a lot of the symptoms citric acid so i'm just warning people to beware um use caution and read and research and and be mindful take care this is nicole Lee, health beauty and more